sometimes children's questions have to do uh, with things that might be a little more personal. And they might pointedly ask you a question like, were you a virgin when you got married? How many partners have you had? Were you with anyone before you were with mom or dad? So usually these types of questions happen when children are older. And, um, you know, a lot of times they make parents really nervous. Parents might be concerned about being honest about a question like this, fearing that it may give their child permission to also, you know, perhaps have this experience with someone other than their husband or wife. Um, and, and I think it's important that we put that fear aside for a second. And if you decide to answer the question, you can say that this is a choice that I made, this is why I made that choice, this is what it cost me, or this is what was great about it, or this is what I didn't like about my choice, whatever the scenario is, okay? And this is why I can say now, I hope for you, da 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 and you fill in the blank. So whatever your values are, and this is a value question, right? Um, even though it's a personal one, it brings up a lot of values around when is sex right and is it okay to have sex with someone other than the person you marry? Is that normal? Also, it's like there's a lot of stuff going on in this question. If you decide to not answer the question, then maybe it's a teachable moment about privacy. Honey, there are some times that are some things that I would like to keep private and I wouldn't want to hurt your mom or your dad. Um, and so that's really just something I don't feel like you need to know. And, you know, there are times, there will be times in life when there may be some things that you don't want me to know about your own life. I hope that you can share anything with me, but I also understand that there are some things that some people like to keep private. This happens to be one for me. Okay, something like that. But you need to acknowledge that they may also do the same. When you do that, you do sort of shut the door a bit to your communication. But... It's up to you, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you may or may not feel comfortable sharing that, but don't lie, please don't lie. People who lie usually get caught later on and this isn't something that you wanna get caught in because then your, your child will discredit you and feel like it's okay to lie if they don't wanna share something with you. Make sense? Okay, you're always doing your best parents and that's all we can do and I hope that that helps and I'll see you in our next tip um, or the next common question that children might ask you.